13 hundred hours pakistan standard time assalamu alaikum this is radio pakistan the news read by abdul rafi sohail first the headlines prime minister says terrorists are the enemies of pakistan and every possible step will be taken to safeguard the country at least 6 police personnel were martyred in an attack on a police mobile van in lucky marwa district today President, Prime Minister and Interior Minister have strongly condemned the terror attack on a police van in Lucky Marwat. And the All Parties Huyat Conference, Azad Jammu Kashmir chapter urges G20 countries to play their role in the resolution of Kashmir dispute. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif has said the terrorists are the enemies of Pakistan and every possible step will be taken to safeguard the country. In a statement, Prime Minister strongly condemned the terrorist attack on a police van in Lucky Marwat. He paid tributes to the martyred six police personnel. He said the whole nation salutes the sons of the soil who sacrificed their lives for the motherland. He asked Khyber Pakhtunkhwa government to immediately announce shohada package for the martyred police personnel. Commiserating the bereaved family, the Prime Minister prayed for the departed souls. At least 6 police personnel were martyred in an attack on a police mobile van in district Lucky Marwat district today. According to details, the martyred personnel include 4 police constables and ASI and a driver. The incident took place when the police were conducting a routine patrol in the area. Dead bodies have been shifted to a nearby hospital while police have started search operation in the area. Meanwhile, Chief Minister Khyber Pakhtunkhwa Mahmood Khan has strongly condemned the tragic incident. Chief Minister Mahmood Khan said such cowardly acts cannot bring down morale of the security forces. He said the provincial government will not leave the bereaved families alone in this difficult time. President Arif Alvi and Interior Minister Rana Sanaullah have also strongly denounced the terror attack on a police van in Lucky Marwat. Expressing grief and sorrow over the loss of precious lives in the terror incident, the president said the sacrifices rendered by the security personnel in the war on terrorism are unforgettable. In a statement today, the Interior Minister sought report from the Chief Secretary and IG Khyber Pakhtunkhwa of the incident. Foreign Minister Bilawal Bhutto Zardari has called upon the sane segments of society to play their role for promoting tolerance in the country as well as in the world. In his message on International Tolerance Day being observed today, he said growing trends of intolerance not only pose a dangerous threat to the peace and harmony in, in the society but also hinder social, political and economic development. He regretted that the coalition government is faced with an onslaught of intolerance and violence by the elements who are attempting to destroy the democracy, institutions and socio-political fabric of their petty political interests. The 4-day 11th International Defence Exhibition and Seminar Ideas 2022 continues on the second consecutive day today at Expo Centre in Karachi. Our Karachi correspondent Ala Altaf Pirzado reports that more than 500 exhibitors including 300 exhibitors from 64 countries of the world are participating in the exhibitions by displaying their latest and innovative products. Exhibitors and trade delegates from Turkey, China, North America, South America, Europe Asia and Far East are participating in the exhibition. Australia, Romania and Hungary are participating for the first time. The All Parties Huyat Conference Azad Jammu and Kashmir chapter convener Mahmood Ahmad Sagar has urged the G20 countries to play their role in the resolution of Kashmir dispute. In a statement in Islamabad he said durable peace as a key to achieve global economic stability and sustainable growth and without peace the dream of economic prosperity could not be materialized he said durable peace in the region was possibly possible only if the lingering disputes such as the kashmir conflict were resolved in a just and peaceful manner in poland at least two people were killed when a missile hit a grain facility near the ukrainian border according to us officials the missile that hit poland was fired by ukrainian forces at an incoming russian missile meanwhile russia has fired at least 85 missiles targeting energy infrastructure across ukraine leaving many cities without power and now cricket Ireland women beat Pakistan women in the third T20 match in Lahore today by 34 runs, winning the series 2-1. Batting first, Ireland scored 167 runs for the loss of 3 wickets in 20 overs. Pakistan were all out for 133 in 18.5 overs. 
And that is all for now. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash radiopakistannewsofficial.